neurodiagnosed brain tumors can be anything. It can be a primary brain tumor or a metastasis. Uh, the key thing is uh, to differentiate both and to get the workup in time. So in, in most of the countries, uh, like, like the U.S., uh, where practice is more individualized or, or, you know, or most of the South Asian countries or Middle East, um, getting a scan is not a big thing. Um, doing an MRI, doing a, a CT scan happens in, in a matter of days and, and the patient has, you have all the information about the patient available in, in, in days time. In the UK, all public funded um, hospitals, public funded health systems like the NHS, it's not the same. The key thing is uh, getting it done on time. So, for example, if a patient's, patient has a brain tumor, uh, how they usually go about in the NHS is once we have all the investigations about the patient, we discuss them in the multidisciplinary team meeting and then decide on what's the treatment for the patient. And then based on that, if it's biopsy, if it's a treatment only of the primary, if it's whole brain radiation, all these decisions, they get gets done in the MDT. So the MDT meets once a week and in the, in the UK, realistically, scans take a longer time because of long waiting times, shortage and stuff. So in 2006, uh, NICE, uh, the, the body which gives all the guidelines in the UK, came up uh, with a guideline for newly diagnosed brain tumors. Uh, because most of these, because of the complexities in one, most of these uh, patients are have, having to wait for a long time. As a result of which, the tumors are growing and becoming untreatable. So to stop that, uh, NICE brought in guidelines in 2006 saying, uh, essentially putting a time lock. So if a patient has a newly diagnosed brain lesion, uh, they have to be treated in a specific amount of time. Okay. So in this context, uh, what's happening was uh, to get them onto the MDD as soon as possible, people were asking for CT uh, caps for all brain tumors. If you see a lesion on the CT, even before you get the MRI, you book a CT abdominal purpose. That's what is happening in the UK as of now. So uh, when we realized that uh, it's not right because we are over-investigating a lot of patients. Uh, in fact, when we audited this, uh, we got a hit rate of 36%. So if we ask for 100 CT caps, only 36 are turning out positive, which is not a good thing for a major investigation like a CT abdominal uh, so we thought that if we can uh, check uh, which patients are actually requiring this and uh, create a selection criteria for the patients, uh, it would be better to improve our hit rates, uh, improve our patient selection for this. So that's what we have done. 